Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tanega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to the part two of our Ndebele speech. We are in progress and today we'll be continuing where we left off. What materials are we going to be using? Bring your beads closer because we're going to be using an eight knot size zest beads. Make sure you have a lot of white and different colors and then your black, your black beads too. Also going to be using our, our upholstery thread and our needle. So let's get started. So this is where we left off on our part one, from our part one tutorial. So for this tutorial, I want us to focus more at the center. Here on the sides, it's going to be the same. It's going to be consistent. On the side, you pick up one white, one black, three green, one black, one red, one black. And then this is the part that we'll be focusing on in the center because I want us to focus more on the arrows. And even on that side, it's going to be black, yellow, black, three blue, three blue, <laughs> black, and white. So I won't really be shooting, show, showing you this part. I only st will be start showing you when I get at the center where we'll be doing the arrows. So from the corner, I am going to move all the way until I get here at this point and then I will, I'm going to come back. But throughout, you're going to pick up the same. You're going to pick up white and black, three green, black, red and black throughout the arrows as we're going to continue the sides are going to be the same so we finally arrive at the center this point where we're going to focus on on the arrow so we're going to pick one
get my needle from under the bead not from top but from below the bead upwards because i want my thread to be in the same position as my old thread so my new thread has to be in the same position as my old thread make sure i pull slowly to avoid knots and here we are once at this point you are going to tie a knot you're going to tie the first knot using your the tail of your old and your new thread and then you're going to tie a second knot second knot is just to make sure that you are completely safe your net your knot is completely safe and then you take your old thread the tail of your old thread and then you cut it out I don't like cutting too closer so I like to leave the tails like this when I'm done with my entire piece that's when I trim I go back and I trim and I look at the spot the best way of trimming is to use a nail clipper the nail clipper is able to go deep and closer to your thread in an unthreatening way so I'm going to push until I get to this point and that's where we're going to continue with our arrow. So now I'm at this point at our arrow area. <laughs> so now I'm going to pick up one white and one black. This, is, this forms the border of our arrow. And then I'm going to pick up two green beads. Two green beads insert it here and then for this part you have to make sure that once both sides they have three beads so three green beads so I'm just going to in order for me to have three green beads I'm going to pick up one green bead and one black bead So this is the other half of our arrow. So you're going to do the same thing that you did here. So instead in reverse. So now you're going to pick up one black and one green. Because it's in reverse. And then you pick up two green beads. and then you create the border for your arrow you pick up one black bead and one white bead one black bead and one white bead so at this point you want to move the very same way you want to pick up your black red black green 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 black white you do the very same thing even when you turn and you start a new line you're going to pick up the very same thing you're going to pick up white black green 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 black red black then we're going to come back at this same spot we meet again at this point oh let me show you what we are working on so this is the transcript <laughs> where we are copying from so we're currently at this point uh, we're currently on this row so now we are going to have our green beads throughout inside our arrow so this is where we currently are yes this is where we currently are yes so now throughout the entire arrow that's where we're going to make our uh, green bead this is why the sides are consistent because 
the number of beads and colors that you're going to pick up are consistent because this as you can see here it's the same thing the only change happens here at the center so now at this point you pick up one white and one black bead oopsie and then you pick up two green beads then you pick up another two green beads another two green beads and then you pick up another two green beads This stitch is so quick. <laughs> I like it so much. I am so in love with this stitch. And I've seen uh, pictures of the, this same belt now being used as a table runner. I've seen it being made in like meters and meters. And I'm like, oh, I shame. Kudos to the person that has been busy on that project but it's understandable because this this project this this stitch is really quick I like it I like it then you pick up one black bead and one white bead it's a very quick stitch oh. so now at this point, you're going to pick up the very same uh, beads and the very same color. Pick up black, yellow, black, three green, black, and white. And then when you turn, you do the same thing. White, black, three blue. Did I say three green before? Three blue, black, and yellow, and black. And then we're going to meet at this point. So we meet, ag we meet again at this point. You're going to pick up one white and one black bead so that we can make the border for our green arrow oh, green arrow and then you pick up two green beads I just had a a DC moment <laughs> when I was talking about green arrow wait let me check my facts if I'm correct pick up another two green beads it's the green lantern and then you have your arrow two green beads you pick up another two green beads Then you pick up another two green beads. Then you pick up one black bead and one white bead. And then you're going to go on the sides. On the sides, you do the same from the beads that are below. So you're going to pick up one black bead, one red bead, one black, three green, 
one black, one white. When you turn and start a new line, one white, one black, three green, one black, one red, one black. And then we're going to meet at this point. So this point, this is where we're going to meet. So this is the part where we're going to start and make the tip of our arrow. So we're now at this point where we're now starting to make the sharp part of our arrow. How would you know if your arrow is right, is ready to be to be made sharp? You're going to count the side, the last line of the color of your arrow. You're supposed to have five beads. So have five green beads. If you want your arrows to be thicker than this, you can add another line or two more lines but this is the thickness that we are going for so we're going to count the side so we have five beads so at this point if you have five beads then you can start making your arrow sharp you're going to pick up two white beads so usually at this point you would pick up one white and one black bead but here you're going to pick up two white beads and then you're going to pick up one black bead and one green bead one black and one green bead the black makes the border or the outline of our arrow it shapes our arrow so we have to be really careful where we place the black beads of our arrow when we're doing our arrow so we pick up two green beads another two green beads And then at this point, you're going to pick up one green bead and one black bead. One green bead and one black bead. And then you're going to pick up two white beads. two white beads then we come back at the sides you pick up the very same thing your black yellow black three blue black white even when you turn you pick up white black three blue black yellow black then we're going to meet at this point so this is the point where we're going to meet so in this line we're going to make sure that at the sides you have three white beads so for your first pair you're going to pick up two white beads and then for your second pair because you have to have three white beads in total you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead and then you're going to pick up your two green beads you pick up another two green beads And then at this point, the corner, you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. One black and one white bead. And 
Then you're going to pick up two white beads. So you did the same thing that you were doing on this side to make sure that you have three white beads and three white beads here. Going to go do your thing and then we come back and meet here. So this is where we are. So at this point for this row on the side, we're going to have four white beads. So in order for us to achieve that, you're going to pick up your two white beads for your first pair. Then you're going to pick up another two white beads for the next pair. I don't want to say first, second, third, because I'm going to lose count. And then you have your four white beads. Then you want to pick up one black bead and one green bead. And then at this point, you're going to do what you've been doing this side, but in reverse. So you're going to start by picking up your green bead and then your black bead. Green bead and then your black bead. So as you can see, the arrow keeps sharpening and sharpening and sharpening with each line that we do or make as you will. I'm just saying random words now. <laughs> then therefore. So my science teacher used to say then therefore. He passed away. Senzuza. Good, good teacher. The best, not even good, the best. So I'm going to come back at this point till we meet again. We meet again at this point. So for this row, you want to have five white beads, two black beads. So now we're covering the tip of our arrow and then another five white beads. In order for us to achieve that, you're going to start by picking up your two white beads beads and then for the next pair you pick up another two white beads so in total we need to have five white beads so currently we have four white beads so for the next pair you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead insert it here nicely so now you're going to do here what you did on one side what you do on one side you do on another so the rule when it comes to this pattern is the the most famous rule in mathematics what you do on one side you do on another so we did this on one side we want to do it on the other side so i want to pick up one black and one white bead and then you pick up two white beads Then you pick up another two white beads. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. It's very loose. I need to tighten up my hand or when I pull. Okay, so you're going to come back. So for this row, you're going to do the exact same thing from you want to copy from the bottom beads so you're going to pick up five beads 
two black beads and five white beads five white beads two black beads and five white beads so for your first pair you're going to have two white your second pair you're going to have two white the following pair you're going to have one white and one black the next pair you got the next pair you're going to have black and white the next pair you're going to have two white and the next pair you're going to have two white i'm not going to show this on camera but that's how you're going to go so this is going to this is how it's going to look like once you are done with your your row at the center now i'm just going to finish off here at the sides and then i'm going to come back and then we're going to meet again focusing on the center we meet again at this point and at this point you want to do the very same thing that you did in the previous line where you have your five white two black beads and your five white beads so this is how it will look once you are done with the center picking up your five white two black and five white so I'm going to do here on the sides and then we're going to meet, meet at this point. This is where we currently are with our arrow. So let's bring in our transcript. So we were currently building the stem or the stick part of our arrow. So now we have to start moving on to the wings of our arrow. So when you introduce your wings, you start introducing your wings at the sides of your arrow. So if you can see the space between the wings, you can count six beads. So on this row, we have our six white beads, meaning we can start introducing our... I'm looking for something to point... Sorry, I'm going to use this cute pen of mine. <laughs> so in this row, we have six beads. And looking at our transcript, we have six beads. So that's when we're going to start by introducing our arrow. So how we introduce the wings of our arrow, you start by just black beads on the side. So... When you get to this point, this point, and you have calculated in the row that you have six white beads, you want to pick up one white bead and one black bead. Insert it here. I apologize, I had a bit of an accident uh, with my uh, phone. I bumped it while <laughs> while busy with the beads. So you picked up your one white and your one black. This is where you introduce the wings of your arrows. Then you pick up your two white beads. So after this black, one black bead, you have to have three white beads. So you've started picking up your first two beads. So now you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead. Then you do the math rule. What you do on one side, you do on the other. Yes. <laughs> Not me hyping myself up. <laughs> You pick up one black bead and one white bead. And then you pick up two white beads. So we had three white beads and then a black bead and then white beads. So we already have our three white bead beads. So now we're going to pick up 
one black bead and one white bead. And then you continue with the side. Then we're gonna come back and meet at the same point. We come back. So now we have to continue to expand the wings of our arrow. So we're going to pick up one white and one black bead. Then you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. One black bead and one white bead. So you have to have two black beads and two white beads. Then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. So you're going to do the other half the same way you did this one. What you do on one side, you do on another. Yes, well done. <laughs> so you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. Well done. Then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. Then you're going to pick up your black bead and your white bead. Going to push and then we meet again at this point. We meet again at this point. So, this is the point where you're going to start introducing your color. You want to pick up one white bead and one black bead for the border of your arrow. So, now this is where you're going to introduce your color. Does this sound familiar or does this look familiar? Yes, it does because at this point where we ended our video, this is where our part one tutorial, this is where we are going to start. So you're going to pick up one orange bead and one black bead. This is the color that I'm introducing. I want my arrow to be orange in color. Then I have my three beads. Then I'm going to pick up one white bead and one black bead. And I pick up one black bead and one white bead. So, I'm going to do what I did on the other side. I'm going to pick up one black bead and one orange bead. One black, one orange. Oopsie. Expanding. Then you pick up one black bead and one white bead. So this is how it is. The next row is going to be our last row. So now I want to pick up one white and one black. So your orange is going to keep extending and extending. You pick up two orange beads. See. You pick up your two orange beads. And then you pick up two black beads. Pick up your two black beads. And 
then you pick up another two black beads and then you pick up two orange beads so this is the color of our arrow two orange beads so the wings of your arrow you introduce them at the side and then the stem is always at the center and then one black bead and one white bead and this is where we're going to stop so this is where this tutorial started when we started this video so you want to continue if you ever feel that you need guidance just the vi this video just go back at the beginning and you're going to use the very same um, maneuvering instructions <laughs> directions that's how you're going to move the only difference is that it's going to be the color of your arrows so the first arrow was green and the second one is orange so wherever you have this light green just use the same thing but instead replace it with orange so you want to continue with our arrows and you want to make sure that you have four arrows i am currently busy with the fourth arrow on this one and then we want to move on to the center part the center block and then we're going to be done with the tutorial of this belt Thank you so much for watching Queens and Kings. I love you guys so, so much. Remember to love yourself. Respect yourself. Hey. Honor yourself and have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. See you on the next video. Bye.